I am going to build an AMA Cub. This is one of the cool, it's my favorite airplane in the whole world. I have built, I bet you I built a thousand of these. And I own a thousand of these kits. You can like, see, I have them everywhere. A guy sold me a thousand of them. And I'm not got a single one of these kits for sale because I want to build them. And I may give them away, but I just love building them and I love building them and having a good time. So let's put one together. Now there's some other videos of people building these on uh, YouTube, but nobody has built as many as this guy right here has. So we are opening up the kit. And these are the instructions. So I'm going to hold these up here. And you can screenshot these instructions if you want to. And here's the back side. But this guy right here doesn't need them. So the first thing I'm going to do... I got some wax paper here, or parchment paper. I'm gonna lay this down on the table. Then I'm gonna take the plan. And I'm gonna put it, here's the plans. And they're gonna go upside down on here. Just put her on there upside down. I got some straight pins right here. And I'm going to put a straight pin in every corner. Now this is that, this is actually the $3 foam board that you get. It, I got this at Walmart. And the Dollar Tree foam board will work. A piece of styrofoam will work. A, a piece of cardboard will work. You know, just about any, anything that you can stick a pin in will work to build this airplane. So the first thing you do, there is a line right here that you cut. And this cut is where the, where it's where the rudder goes. So when you make that line, when I glue the, this on the rudder on here, it will, uh, it will release right there. So this right here is the, uh, this right here is the motor boom and it goes right here and I will be right back. I got to go get the glue. She'll just, just turn her off. All right, we have glue now. And this is CA glue. This is what, this is the fast building glue. And this right here is the activator. This, this PT, this 2P10. You can buy this off Amazon. It's only $20. And the days of, of model airplane glue being expensive are over with. So what we do here is we're gonna put glue on where this rudder goes. And then I'm going to stick it on here like this. And then I'm going to pin it in place like that. All these pins are the sharp side is sticking straight up. It's a little scary, right? Okay, then I'm going to put one up here. So we know that there's a cut right there. And that is when we take this rudder, when we take this boom off, it's just going to come off with that. So what you do is you've got to angle all these pieces on here. So what I do is I just, I just make a mark with the, with the knife. Then I can still see it down here and I just cut it. Now this this board I got on my table is a cutting board even though it covers my whole kitchen table up. So you can see that I cut that and it's the right angle. And then right here is gonna be the same angle also. I mean you can cut it on the on the on the plane, but you're not gonna do as good a job as if you take it over here and do it. So now I'm going to put a little bit of glue right along that. And then I'm going to stick my, my, my stick on there. So 
So we made a video just a few minutes ago of, a China, of the Chinese rubber pirate airplanes. And this is just our second video of making model airplane videos. So I'm going to, no matter what happens, I'm going to load this video because this is the first construction video. So you can see I got the, the angle right there. And now I'm just going to finish cutting it. Put the glue on. We'll get a little bit of glue in that corner and come up to here. Now, a lot of people will just, uh, they don't like sticking pins through their wood or their plane, but I do. See, I got these thin, these are like inch and three quarter inch uh, straight pins I bought at Walmart out of the sewing section. And these little fins don't impact the wood like say a thumbtack wheel or you know a poster board thumb. Okay, now I see this triangle right here. This triangle, I'm gonna cut a lip and it's gonna lip over and and and, and go over this joint, and you can see that little triangle there. So this is what really makes this joint super strong. So I'm just gonna cut this triangle and then this will loop over to there just like that. So all I gotta do is put a little bit of glue on here. Then I'm gonna loop that over. like that. Then I'm going to touch it with the CA uh, accelerator and it will dry instantly. What happened there, I cut the uh, the uh, wax paper that I'm using. <laughs> I was trying to glue the wax paper to it also, so that's what happened there. But you can see the paper is glued on there. So, uh, now we've got the fuselage done, and I'm going to let the fuselage dry while I build other parts of the plane. So the next part I'm going to build is the elevator. So I'm going to set a piece of wood on here, like this, and like this. And I'm going to get this where I want to cut it at, right there. It's like it's stuck to it, so I'm just going to bring it over here. I'm going to cut that piece. I'm going to apply some glue to the to the rudder. I mean the elevator. Then I'm going to stick this on right here. Then I'm going to pin it down. These pins, they're upside down in there. Not too many. Not too many balls. All right. We'll pin this little dude down. You know, the first time I ever built one of these planes, I was probably, well, the, I bought some of them and I tried to build them like when I was 10 years old. And I didn't have any luck. You know, I, and nobody in my house, my dad, my stepdad didn't know how to build them. And my real dad did, but he wasn't really around. So I got that angle there. So it, it took me a few tries to finally, you know, figure out how to do this. But I do know I built a few of them like when I was 16 years old and I took them over to the guest farm and I flew it off of the grain silo. And it flew, it got in a thermal, and it flew about a mile away before it ever landed. And we just chased it across the field. And uh, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> Those are the good old times. So I'm going to make sure that it's in the right spot up here on this end. 
Alright, we're good. Alright, we're going to move this. Because now we're going to cut this and do the little loop. So it goes up on there like that. So we're going to put some glue on there. And this really makes that joint just really strong. And uh, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it wrapped around there. And I put a little bit of accelerator on it. And it will be glued right to it. There we go. Now, we're going to cut a piece for this side. So I'm going to get my angle right here. All right. Hold this piece in place. afraid to, to push down on it hard up there. I don't want to go through my, ruin my piece of foam for no reason. So now I'm going to glue, put some glue on all this. I guess I should be talking more since it's my first build video, but you know, I'm planning on doing like a hundred thousand build video. So I'll probably eventually learn what to say, what not to say. I will tell y'all that I am on a diet. I just got done doing a 40 day raw potato and water diet and I lost 27.2 pounds. So if you go to my uh, YouTube page, there's 41 vlogs of my uh, diet on there. You know, if you're interested in that, I don't, I don't really expect anybody to eat raw potatoes for 40 days like I did and drink water. And I've really done it more for the challenge than I did because there, obviously there's a little bit of glue on there already. I've done it more for the challenge. I was challenging myself, you know, cause I wanted to, I've been obese for a long time and you know, I was wanting to challenge myself to see if I could man up a little bit and do something and it turned out pretty good and but potatoes aren't the best thing there is in the world to diet with but that's okay all right now this next piece we're going to put in is this one right here and i usually fill all these pieces of wood and i try to find one that's pretty stiff for that and i did find this piece of wood here is a little bit tougher than and you got to put these little you've got to make the end of this pointed like you gotta it's gotta be a little points on it and I normally don't put it on there and that'll work and I'll put that right there matter of fact I don't really like the way it looks so I'm gonna sand it a little bit Oh, now it looks good. And what's going to happen here is we're not going to glue it right here because when we finish the plane, we're going to fold the wing up and put the dihedral in it. So it's kind of weird not to be a glue in it on them joints. And you will see what I mean when, when I get that far. So, you know, when I start building the wing, I get kind of excited because, you know, I know that the end is coming. So I just made a little point right there. 
I'm going to make sure it's somewhere in the neighborhood of the right length. And it is, you can see. Now you have to realize I have done this like a thousand times. So notice I'm not going to glue all the way to the end. I liked, you know, a quarter of an inch or so. And I'm going to stop right there. You know, I liked about a quarter of an inch because I don't want to get any glue in the joint. And this don't have to be perfect. These planes will fly great. Another thing about the video, I want to make videos that are real time. Like, you know, you see everything I do and a lot of people get bored with videos like that. But I just, I feel like I can make a better video if I show you everything I'm doing. All right, now we got the centerpiece in. Now we're going to put these, uh, outside wing ribs on and uh, I'm going to take this I'm going to take these two pins out to get them out of my way now I'm going to I need to put a straight line right here so I got it marked all right I got it cut then we get out here I got my, my little line marked and then I'm going to cut it. All right. Check the length. Make sure she's the right length and she's good. I got a little bit of fray here on the end. I'm just going to touch it with a piece of sandpaper. Clean her right up. Now go all at the end right here. And there's going to be another case right here that I'm going to stop before I get to that joint because it's got to be able to flex right there. There we go. All right, I'm going to put three pins in this. Now don't, don't put a pin right here because you're going to be messing around right there putting that piece in. So, all right. Now we're going to put this piece in. Marker. Cut it. Mark it, cut it, and I'm going to glue it. Like I said before, we're not going to go all the way to the end up here because we got the flex right up there. So I stopped before I got to the, to the end. Put some, we'll put three pins in her. Right out here on the end. Now I'm going to cut the triangle. See if she'll flip up for me. There we go. Look at there. Alright, now we're going to put a little glue on there. Then we hit with a little bit of accelerator. You know, and if you don't have, if you, you can build this plane with Elmer's glue, which is fine, but you just, uh, you know, it's just not as fast. So, I'm making a video, so I may make a video with using Elmer's glue. And when you make when you bake one of these with Elmer's glue, you really have to do it in steps because some of this you just have to let it. Uh, you just have to let it dry. 
Usually when I'm using Elmer's glue, I build like three of them at once. I get three foam boards out and, and I start, uh, you know, and I glue them, in, I glue it all up in steps. That way, when you get to the end, basically when you get to the end is really when it takes a while. Because when you glue the wing to the fuselage, alrighty, we're going to check the fit. Fits good. We don't want to go all, we got to start about a quarter inch from the end down here. Go all the way out to right there. I'm going to put three pins in this. This plan is coming together. I mean, this plane is coming together. All right, we're gonna, I've done this so many times, I pretty much already know the angle that I need. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that looks good. Now we're gonna get this angle right here. Make the mark, bring it over here. Finish cutting it. Then we're, not, we're going to start from the a quarter an inch from the end. We're going to put the glue to it. So we'll use that pin there. We we'll use this pin from over here. Oh yeah. Get one from out of here. Put it right there. Now we're going to cut this triangle loose. I'll be honest, it's been about a year since I made one of these, so I'm actually having a really good time. And, and I haven't, by far, haven't forgot how to do it, so we're all good. That one has plenty of glue on it, let me tell you. So we're going to bring this over and we're going to put a little bit of accelerator on this to get this party. I put a little bit more than just a little bit on there and I did not. I'm going to glue the stick to it. There we go. Now we got two more pieces to put in. And we've got this piece of scrap right here. This already got an angle on it, so I could probably just turn this around. And, oh yeah. Look at that. There we go. You can see it right there. Just cut it. Put some glue in here. All right. go now I used to build this plane in 12 minutes I have done it I think I even done it in nine minutes one time I used to like back in 2013 or whatever I wanted to start a, a uh, this piece here already has an angle on it so I wanted to start a I wanted to start I wanted to do YouTube back then and I don't know why I did it's, you know a lot of times you just got to do stuff, you know, and you just think, well, I'm going to do that, but you never did, but I'm doing it now. So I'm planning on making all kinds of airplane videos. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. All right. That should be the last piece of wood that we have to install. Looky there. We'll put a couple of pins in it. Yeah, we're doing good. Okay, now we got all the wood in. Now I'm just going to spray, like on the wing here especially, we know that's probably not dried all the way. So I'm going to spray a little bit of accelerant on everything. 
get everything dried up here. This accelerant will dry in no time. So now I'm going to show you how to bend the rubber, like the motor mount for the rubber band. And you just take a pin and you bend it straight down like that. Okay. And then you bend, you want to bend straight up. Grab a hold of it, bend straight back again. And I always leave the plastic ball on there. Let me get up here a little bit. And I'm going to bend it back like this right here. And this is what we got. So when I glue this to the bottom of the balsa wood, the uh, the rubber is going to hook in right here, and that'll keep the rubber off of the balsa wood so that the rubber can twist up more. And that's a this is a very important part. Like the plans, they just want you to uh, just think up. They just want you to stick up a straight pan in here, and it don't really work that great. So. What I usually do now is I just take all the pins out. So we're gonna take all the pins out. Now we're gonna have to cut the, uh, the paper free from the, from the plans and then you'll have the airplane left over. These planes are just so much fun to build and they fly incredible. And every time I fly here at the house, they either go and I kind of got a bad neighbor across the way and he has about three of my airplanes. So every time they land in his yard, I just leave them over there and I'll just give them to him. He's probably got grandkids or something because I mean, he's an okay guy, but I'm going to fly this plane. As soon as I get done with it, we're going to take it outside and we're going to fly it. Okay. Now this is going to be really cool. Check this out. We have an airplane on this paper now. Isn't that rad? So, you can see right here where it's not stuck to. So now I'm just going to cut this loose. It don't take a lot of pressure to cut it loose. Just hold down on it a little bit. Now right here, you got to cut it all the way up to that mark, this direction. Then come back here. Cut down through here. And it probably won't be all the way loose, but it'll be close. Voila. Look at that. Now we got a rudder. So it's got a little bit of stuff right here, so I'm just going to take this uh, sandpaper I got on this block. Just clean it up. I got it nice and flat. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I would really like to learn how to talk like Bob Ross, like where people just watch me build airplanes because it soothes them, you know, but... That's being a little bit far-fetched, right? So, now we're gonna cut the rest of this loose. See, and remember, this one part of the wing is, is uh, it's flexible right there. So 
So now that we got it loose, if you cut it from this side, it it cuts really good because you've got that little bit of air space in there. If you when you cut it from this side, it just it it cuts really good. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Here we go. It'll come right loose. If you went down through there, it'll come loose. Ooh, look at there. There is the elevator. You know what? It's cut so good that I really don't have to trim that up any. All right, now let me cut the wing loose. We are cutting the wing loose. Check it out. Isn't that cool? See, you can see that that is flexible right there, you know? because we're going to have dihedral in the wing. Okay. Now we're going to finish this project up. The next thing we're going to do is that we're going to glue the rudder and elevator together. It's going to be just like that. I don't, I just glue it. I'll tell you how I do it, is I put the accelerant on the balsa wood, and when you, you'll put it right on there, and uh, then I'll pick it up, and then I'll run my finger down that, and we have the elevator installed, look at that. All right, now this part, This wing it goes on here. So what we're gonna do now we don't want to get any glue in this joint right here. This either joint. So I'm gonna put glue on here. And I'm gonna put some accelerant on the wing on the on the plane. And then I'm gonna glue that down and, and then I'm gonna show you how to finish this up. So I'm not gonna put any glue on the ends yet. So I'm gonna put glue right down through here. Then I'm gonna put some accelerant right on the on the fuselage. I'm gonna glue this right to the body. Just like that. And with accelerant, it glues instantly. Now I'm going to put, get this part, I'm going to put the motor on the plane, then you turn it upside down. This is so cool. And you pin the, the end of the wing down. There's a lot of glue on that, you know, so you glue it, you pin it down on that side. Then you pin it down on this side, just like that.
Yeah, and it's straight now. So now, you got it where you want it, you just glue it. Then you glue the joints. Glue the joint there. Glue the joint there. Glue the joint over here. Then you put accelerant on it. Let her set for a few moments. Let that accelerant dry. Pull the, the pins out. Whoa, look at that. Now, the only thing we got left to do is put the motor mount in. So, we're gonna, <laughs> whoops, motor mount went for a ride. And if I remember right, I usually put the motor mount in like this. Like I made a spot, I see where it's supposed to go. But it's got to go in pretty straight. the motor mount in. Now I'm going to glue the motor mount or it's a rubber band mount whatever you want to call it. Put some glue on it. Then hit it with a little bit of accelerant. Now we have got an airplane. Look at that. Now I'm going to tie the And I always just hit the rubber band that comes with it, even like that. And I just tie a regular knot. Like that right there. Yeah, it's not really even, so I cut a little bit off. But you don't want to cut it too close because it, it may pull it up a little bit. And if it does, it'll, it'll come out of the knot. So you want to put the knot back here on the pin that you custom bent and then we're gonna just gonna hook the well this is a little bit tight so I'm just gonna open this up a little bit All right, now we're going to wind her up. So the best place to, about uh, the first flight, we really want like one row of knots. So, so we got a row of knots starting right there. I'm going a little bit more than a, than a row of knots. I want to make sure it makes it to my neighbor's yard. So we're going to start right there. So we're going to pause the video. We're going to go outside and fly this airplane. All right, we're going to fly the uh, AMA Cub. You can get from Sig Manufacturing out of Montezuma, Iowa. And uh, <laughs> this is one amazing plane. And here we go. Now I also got a Chinese airplane I'm going to fly after this one. That's a 
a pretty good flight. It wasn't wound up very much. And here goes the Chinese airplane. Yeehaw. All right, here goes the second flight of the AMA Cub. There's quite a bit of a breeze out here, so we don't know exactly what's going to happen. Look at that. It's out of here. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> All right, this is the second flight of the Chinese airplane. I made, I built this in another video. Both videos will be going online. So here we go again. It's not going to fly like the other plane. This should be interesting. Well, maybe it is. Hello. <laughs> 